And as a question that we're not going to ask future interviewees, could you describe why you started the Center of Math? <laughs> well, I'd like to say it was because I wanted to provide low-cost math resources to the mathematics community in general, but that isn't exactly why I started it. Um, other people have this vision of themselves retiring, and sitting on the porch and having their grandkids on their knee, and I have this vision of myself retiring and buying an old Victorian home and turning it into my own math center where I live, but then I also have like a library and extra rooms for visitors and hold conferences and maybe provide tutoring for local colleges or universities. And I suddenly realized that I didn't need to wait to retire to do that. I could just go ahead and try to do some of those things now. But I just, it would be nice if it were, if it funded itself. And so we started, I originally thought we would publish videos, calculus videos, just to plug into any calculus course in the country. But then um, it was suggested that we needed to provide content, so a textbook to go with the videos. And so we started selling digital textbooks at a very low price. Um, right now, we don't provide all the great things I'd, I'd like to do in the future, like host conferences and pay for visitors and buy my Victorian house. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I haven't retired yet either. So.